I wrote Unlearning Stress because people are sick. People are becoming burdened by their expectations of being something other than they are. They're weighed down by the stress of all of the suggestions and the choices that they're making. So much so that they've forgotten what it's like to feel good. I see this all day long in my practice. People are uh, walking dead. They're zombies. They're, they're uh, unhappy versions of who they could be. So unlearning stress is meant to fill in the gaps, to give people the tools that they need in order to transform, to rediscover themselves, to create a new way of being with 10 easy to follow chapters. Things like being grateful, being active, being calm. I cover all of the basics and some advanced techniques as well to give you everything that you need in order to feel good, to reclaim your life from the throes of stress. It's using your body as a laboratory, experimenting with that, not believing what anyone says you should or shouldn't be believing, because after all, that is sort of the premise of the book, the idea that most of our stress is acquired. These are things that suggestions that people have told us that we have on some level agreed with. Well, if I don't bring a present with me to this party, then I'm going to be seen as a horrible guest. Or if we don't have everything just right, then we're terrible hosts. And these are all suggestions and people get all worked up about them. But ultimately, is it worth sacrificing your life force? Is it worth sacrificing your vitality? because of some suggestion that says you should or shouldn't do something. And throughout the book Unlearning Stress, I give all sorts of suggestions, things to look at, places to start paying attention, where perhaps we can process and let go and delete those old files of things that are no longer working for us. Taking a very critical look and saying, is this suggestion something that is helping me to stay alive? Right. Looking across the street, looking both ways before you cross the street is helpful. Right? That's going to keep us alive. But getting all stressed because you didn't re return a phone call within 20 minutes, is that really a life or death situation? Chances are it's not. And so perhaps, perhaps, there's room in your life, there's room in my life and our lives for a little bit more space, a little bit more calm, a little bit more time to take a deep breath and to enjoy each other's company without getting all worked up. Maybe we don't need to have those palpitations. Maybe we don't need that headache. Maybe we don't need the aggravation that comes from adhering to suggestions that we learned when we were children, but that no longer apply to our lives today. Unlearning stress gives you the tools to help delete those old files and import and create a new operating system. One that allows you to feel free, excited, and healthier and more balanced in your life. Because when you feel good, everyone around you is going to feel better. It's as though you become a waterfall of energy and they're in the spray that happens all around it. And it's a spray that is full of love and health and happiness. And you can become the change that you want to see in the world because you are no longer burdened by these suggestions, by these beliefs that other people have said you need to follow in order to feel better. Instead, you've taken the choice. You've followed that road to make your own decisions and to try something out that says, you know what, perhaps I don't need to suffer in this lifetime. Perhaps I deserve a life that is free and easy. And starting with that change in your perception and then allowing that energy to start to incorporate your body will start to shed those old suggestions that no longer work for you and you start to live the life that you were destined to live.